Okay. So, I know I did a continued, to be continued video earlier today. But the Lord is good. He is awesome. Um, I was chilling. You know, the Lord is so good. I was full of joy today. I was running around singing, um, on the other side by Timberlake and Rods or Scots, whatever her name is. And I was just dancing around the house, just full of joy. Happy that the baby is kicking. Happy that I'm alive and happy that the Lord is providing for my family and just keeping us safe. Um... And then I uh, was at my computer. I don't know what I was doing. And the phone rang. And it was this lady from the courthouse from the Bronx. And she was like, hey, you know, you're about to go to court order. They're going to submit your writ. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah, you're going to have a court order in like 15 minutes or something like that. So I was like, wait, what? Are you crazy? So I was like, oh, my God, George. And George, thank God George got home early to help me through that. Because I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute. So George runs in the room and he gets me a shirt because I'm running around here, no brawl off. <laughs> Everything's sagging, no wig on, nothing looking like itch in my mind. I was looking at a hot mess. So I said, oh my God, get my wig, give me my, my brush, give me my comb. You know, I got to get myself together. So he got me my shirt. I got on my wig, go <laughs> my wig. And um, I don't even know why I bothered doing all of that because... Uh, it wasn't like a Skype thing. Well, she said Skype, so I thought I was going to have to be on the camera. So, um, they called me back and they, um, the judge got on the phone and then I guess all these other people got on the phone and she asked me a few questions and I told her I was just truthful and honest and I did a little prayer before they called me because I said, Lord, help me to say the right things, guide my words, um, don't make me make a dumb blankety blank out of myself uh, because I tend to get very emotional or get mad at his father and I say things that just sound, you know, vindictive and I don't want to sound like that. I'm not really coming from that place. I just want my son back and I explained everything to her. She says, yeah, I'm going to sign this writ. Uh, you're going to have to get a sheriff to serve it. Um, but uh, right after that... No, and then she told me that I was going to have another hearing on Thursday at 10.30. So, but she didn't really explain to me what that was about. So I'm kind of confused. But, you know, I didn't bother to ask. I just didn't want to, judges get kind of like bossy and, you know, shut up and listen type of attitude. So I just let her talk and I said, okay, I'll be wherever you need me to be on Thursday at 10.30, and that was it. And I said, God bless you to all of them, and they said, thank you, and I hung up. I called my lawyer right away afterwards, and I spoke to his uh, receptionist, and I told her, I said, look, we're going to move forward with this. Um, the writ is something separate. She is going to sign it. She agrees that he is violating it. Um, she just needs to, you know, see me on Thursday, but I don't know what that's about. And I said, I really need to hire him now because things are moving. They're moving pretty fast. Um, considering the fact that I, I emailed these people on Friday and they called me this Monday. God is good. God is awesome. He's moving. So I got it in and um, right after, actually while I was on the phone with the receptionist, somebody was calling me. I don't know these numbers. So I was like, oh my God, who's this? So listen, let me call it back, but it didn't pick up. And then she called again and I said, hey, who is this? She was like, yeah, we didn't realize that the father resides in Jersey City. So you're going to have to, we're, we're gonna, the, the judge is going to type everything up and she's going to sign it. But you're going to have to print it out and go to Jersey City and uh, find the sheriff's office, pay a fee or whatever. And then they're going to have to deliver it for me. So I have to go about trying to figure out how I set that up with the sheriff's office in Jersey City. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, she agreed with me that this is not fair. And, you know, the way he's going about it is not right. He doesn't have the right to do this. Uh, thinking that he is the all in all and authority over Ezra is just not fair. So she's seen right through that. And I'm happy that she did. So, right now, I'm just waiting for them to email me the writ. Once they email me that and I have it in my hands, 
Um, I'm going to just put it to a side because it's a little late in the evening today. What time is it, George? Uh, Two? Well, yeah. Three, three, Let me show you my hubby. Three, oh, seven. So, it's like two something, but <laughs> I don't think that, you know, they're going to be able to do anything now. So, I'm going to wait to tomorrow to call the the um, the office the sheriff's office and uh, awesome. try to get somebody to go out there and deliver it. I'm going to have to jump in the car and do a road trip. So it is what it is. I'm happy. Things are moving. God is good when you leave it in his hands and you don't get ratchet and you don't get no metal bass. This is what happens. The Lord comes through for you. All right, y'all. I love you. Uh, that is where we are at with everything. I'll post... All the other stuff, once I figure out what's going on. I'm kind of like in the clouds right now. I'm all over the place. I don't know if I'm coming or going. But yeah, so that's done.